Hey, fellow developers, let me ask you something that's been keeping me up at night. When was the last time you solved a coding problem completely on your own without asking AI for help? If you're struggling to remember, you're not alone. And that's exactly what we need to talk about today. Picture this. It's 2 a.m., you're staring at your screen, and that dreaded red rare message is glaring back at you. Your first instinct? Copy, paste into chat GPT, and wait for the magic solution. Sound familiar? I've been there too, and what I discovered about this habit absolutely shocked me. Before we dive deeper, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell, because what I'm about to share could fundamentally change how you think about AI in your development workflow. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Let me share a personal story that opened my eyes to this hidden danger. Three months ago, I was working on a complex backend system for a client. When ChatGPT went down for maintenance, Something terrifying happened. I, I froze. A simple authentication error that I would have crushed two years ago now felt like climbing Mount Everest. That's when it hit me. I had become dependent on AI, and my core programming skills were slowly slipping away. But here's what's really mind-blowing. A recent study by the University of California found that developers who heavily rely on AI coding assistance spend 35% less time reading documentation and show a 40% decrease in their ability to debug complex problems independently. Think about that for a second. We're not becoming 10x developers with AI, we're becoming 10x dependent on AI. Now let's break down exactly how this dependency creeps in because it's way more subtle than you might think. First, there's what I call the quick fix trap. You start by using AI for those annoying little syntax errors or config files. Seems hard or... Right? But soon, you're asking AI for help before you even try to understand the problem. Your debugging muscles start to atrophy, just like mine did. Then comes the documentation dodge. Why spend 15 minutes reading docs when AI can explain it in 15 seconds? I get it, it's efficient, but here's the problem. You're missing out on all those valuable aha moments that come from deep diving into documentation. Those moments are what build your programming intuition. The third stage is what I call solution blindness. You start implementing AI suggested solutions without fully understanding them. Sure, the code works, but do you really know why? This is where things get dangerous, especially when you're building critical systems. But here's where it gets really interesting. Remember that authentication error I mentioned earlier? After forcing myself to solve it without AI, I discovered three critical security vulnerabilities that ChatGPT's solution would have completely missed. That's because real programming isn't just about getting code to work. It's about understanding the implications of every line you write. Now, before you think I'm suggesting we should all uninstall our AI coding assistants, that's not the case at all. These tools are incredibly powerful when used correctly. The key word here is correctly. Let me share the framework I've developed to use AI tools without letting them erode your skills. I call it the AI Human Balance Protocol, and it's completely transformed how I work. Rule number one, the 30 minute rule. When you hit an error or challenge, spend at least 30 minutes trying to solve it yourself before asking AI. This helps maintain your problem solving skills while still having AI as a backup. Rule number two, the understanding mandate. Every time you use AI-generated code, you must be able to explain exactly how it works line by line. If you can't, you don't use it. This has saved me countless hours of debugging mysterious issues later. Rule number three, documentation first, AI second. Make reading documentation your default approach, using AI only for clarification. Trust me, the time investment pays off exponentially in the long run. Rule number four, weekly skill sharpening. Dedicate one day a week to coding without any AI assistance. Think of it like a workout for your programming muscles. Yes, it might feel slower at first, but the long-term benefits are incredible. Here's something fascinating. After implementing this protocol, my team's bug rate dropped by 45%, and our code review processes became significantly more efficient. Why? Because we actually understood every line of code we were writing. But let's get practical. I know some of you are thinking, this sounds great, but I have deadlines to meet. That's why I've created a comprehensive guide called Mastering the AI Human Balance in Modern Programming. You'll find the link in the description below. This guide includes detailed workflows for balancing AI assistance with skill development, real-world case studies of successful AI integration, common pitfalls and how to avoid them, practical exercises to maintain and improve your core programming skills, and here's something I haven't shared anywhere else. 
The guide includes my personal collection of debugging cheat sheets that have helped me solve complex problems without relying on AI. These alone have saved my team countless hours of development time. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, imposter syndrome. Many developers feel guilty about using AI, like they're somehow cheating. But here's the truth. AI is a tool, just like your IDE or Stack Overflow. The key is learning how to use it without letting it use you. Think about it like learning to drive. Would you want a driver who only knows how to use autopilot or one who actually understands how to control the car? The same principle applies to programming. You need to master the fundamentals before you can effectively use AI to enhance your capabilities. Let me share another quick story that illustrates this perfectly. Last month, one of our junior developers was struggling with a particularly nasty bug. Instead of immediately turning to AI, they used the principles from my guide to break down the problem systematically. Not only did they solve the bug, but they also identified a pattern that helped us prevent similar issues across our entire code base. This brings me to an important point. The future of programming isn't about choosing between AI and traditional coding skills. It's about finding the right balance between the two. It's about being smart enough to use AI when it truly adds value and skilled enough to work without it when necessary. Before we wrap up, I want to address something crucial. If you're just starting your programming journey, please, please don't fall into the AI dependency trap. Build your foundation first. Learn to read error messages, understand stack traces, and debug problems manually. These skills will serve you throughout your entire career. If this video has helped you think differently about your relationship with AI coding tools, smash that like button and share it with your fellow developers. Drop a comment below sharing your own experiences with AI dependency. I'd love to hear your stories and strategies. And don't forget to grab your copy of the Mastering the AI Human Balance Guide using the link below. I've also included some exclusive discount codes for my favorite development tools that actually help you grow as a programmer, not just make you dependent on them. Remember, the goal isn't to avoid AI. It's to use it wisely while maintaining and improving your core programming skills. Let's build a future where AI enhances our capabilities instead of replacing them. That's all for today, fellow developers. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Stay curious, stay skilled, and I'll see you in the next video.